You guys were right. Yesterday when we came over just to drop off lumber, a couple swipes with the skid loader bucket, a couple little forms, and we were ready to pour. So why not? We got it ready yesterday, and the guys already had it poured by the time I got here. That patio just took a little bit too long to dry, but at least it's done. I don't have to go back. Sorry I missed this pour, but the finish is our wood plank stamp. Uh, 12 inch wide boards ranging from 8 feet, 6s, I'm guessing, 6s, 4s, and then we have 1s laying around here somewhere. So we'll go ahead and get this stamped and talk you through that. Nice little sill at the man door. We were talking about not doing that, but it just felt like we were leaving it undone. Uh, we adjusted these to the height of the concrete and that's it on the concrete to set up. Just a little bit of effort goes a long way. Cleaning the driveway, not too much on there, just some debris, some dust. But it looks so nice when we got here, we want it to look almost as nice when we leave. Concrete's all in the shade, got a little bit of time. Okay, concrete is ready to get on and smooth out. Yeah, the wood plank stamp is just a little bit soft yet to do anything uh, so we're racing over uh, we have a smaller pad maybe 17 by 10 uh, right up the street from this project and uh, we're gonna go ahead and pour that one today too it's just plain concrete broomed uh, we just have to power buggy it around the back of the house should be pretty easy finish out this day then I'll run back over and help Tommy and Jim get that wood planking done so we'll have two different videos I'm going to turn the camera over to Steve and Matt and Steve uh, to do a quick little video on pouring a simple concrete pad and then uh, we'll see how they do there I'm sure they'll do good stay tuned so that's the patio back there we got to get some gravel in it and some wire and rebar. How about that expansion? Think we can use that? Get out of the oven. All right, well, we're getting stone in. Mixers due any minute. We are pressed for time, but look what we just got out of the oven. Can we wash your thank, windows? Thank you very much. Can we power wash your deck? Can we <laughs> re shingle your We're, we're going to make this job last a little bit longer. Let me know if you need more. Thank you. Mm, so, radius corner. We have our real skinny plastic, seven inches. 29 inches 29 inches and we can match it over there a little bit more stone real nice solid base here's our wire mesh here's our rebar i gotta go here you go steve thanks it's on Okay, we're doing layout. Our patterns are 12 inches wide. So we'd like to stay off of the house Good a little bit. Good. Miss our All sill. Right. And we don't want to wind up with a one or a two inch board down this edge. You see what's wrong with that? Yeah, that's kind of size up with a two inch on the wall. Two inch on the wall. Okay, scratch that. 
want to just shift it why don't we just pull it over two inches and eliminate it and I can floppy that last one pull it over two inches pull everything this way two, two inches, inches right? okay. close-up picking up the patterns what we look for nice texture and our mortar joints as well as our wood plank we want to look as full as we can looks good when it starts drying it'll be all dull we'll add color and sealer we're gonna leave that floppy we're getting a slight drip out of that hose bib so that will just sit there tonight and catch that. Alright, let's finish this up. Okay, with the concrete all done with sand, I put some storm gray antiquing in with our liquid release. And I'm misting it on top. I'll give you a close up here in a minute. You can see how that highlights all the grain. You can put it on as light or as heavy as you want. I'll to touch up where that mat is tomorrow. Well, on these little patios, this is how I like to do it. See how that's just settling right into the wood grain? I promise you, that is concrete. Okay, let's head back over and see how the guys are making out. So the stone is in, we're graded to about six to seven inches. Uh, we have a really tight wire and rebar grid back here. 
we're gonna get some wire ties going tie these to make sure nothing shifts while we're uh, pouring now all we need is concrete Okay, I just got back. They're getting ready for some cuts. Steve's making a little pad for some handprints. All right, I'll get the tripod out and give them out of hand. So we're over here at our last project of the day, and we, Steve, we, Steven, made a little pad. That wee guy is so nice. He's a busy guy. Little pad for some handprints. What's your name? Reagan is going to go ahead and put her handprints right in that concrete, then they'll have it forever. Okay. Good, whenever you're ready. Nice and wide, straight down and hold it there. Need a hammer? Yeah. Clutch hammer, please. <laughs> Sorry, that's too much. Okay, straight up. There you go. Is that good? Yeah. Okay. Oh, I forgot about Matt. How you doing, Matt? Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get on there and help him out. So we just went center, center off the steps, and center. That's the best relief we can get. That's the best protection right there. Yep. Okay, we're running out of camera, out of battery life. Steve's putting our finish edge in there. How are you liking that tight radius, Steve? Oh, I love him. See how he holds his edger up to shorten it up, going right around that bend. Very light pressure. It's all finesse. Very nice. All right, I'll go ahead and finish brooming. Matt's up there in the shade, a little bit soft yet. Okay, Steve's taking care of the intersection in the middle. Matt's got the sunny side, I got the shade side. Mm -hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Okay, up here in the shade, just a little bit soft. Let's give it a double clean, maybe, huh?
be doing all that. He's putting the final touches on right there. Nice intersections. Woo. Yeah, getting a little tight. Yeah. That shade line is going to be hard to see. I hate how the edger sounds on the camera. It sounds so loud. Really? Yeah. You got you not hear that in the videos? Not really. <laughs> Maybe it's just me. All right, that's it. I was just looking at that step. I'm gonna clean up the front of that step. Nice little pad, all done. Plain broom concrete, but it looks real nice with a nice finish edge mark on there. Picture framing around, shined up the tool joints. Looks nice. Good job. So that's what a nine-year-old can do with a half a shovel full of concrete and some beads. Pretty cool. Alright, this patio is all done and sealed. Our SRT from Chem Master. Drying real nice. As always, thanks for tuning in to Concrete with the Hosses. See you on the next one.